it's Brooke and I am very excited about this video. <laughs> Today's video, I'm dressing up like Disney characters for a whole month. Like literally a whole month. Like each day I dressed up like a character and it was so much fun. It was like being like a cartoon character. <sighs> the aesthetic that I crave, the life that I need. Last year I did a Disney bound challenge and it was so much fun that I decided to bring it back again. If you follow them on Instagram, you know that every March they do a thing called the Disney Bound Challenge. And you literally dress like a character every day, but there's always like a little twist to it, like only dressing like red characters or um, dressing like your cartoon crush, like things like that. Like it has to be that specific. You can't just pick whatever character. So it's interesting um, the challenges that they have each day and what your mind can create. This year was so challenging. Like. I feel like almost every day kind of pushed me creative. There are a couple that I didn't get to do, but most of them, I was very surprised that I could create something. So you guys will get to see that in this video. I had, again, so much fun making this and it is a long one. It's a very long one because I did one for each day of the month. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit, but I, anyways, I'm just so excited for you guys to see this and let me know what you think of each look. And without further ado, let's dress like Disney characters for a whole month. The first look is a character from a film when you were 10. I was so stuck, so I decided to do Linguini from Ratatouille. So since he is somewhat of a, an aspiring chef, I did a white button up shirt and unbuttoned it a little bit. I also have some red key elements like the red purse, the red earrings and shoes. It's not my best work, but I think it'll do. Day two was cast member and I decided to do photo pass photographers. With this pandemic, a lot of cast members have lost their jobs, so I thought it was so awesome that the Disney Bound decided to incorporate cast members into the Disney Bound Challenge. I did some basic key elements of a PhotoPass photographer, but nothing compares to the real ones because they are amazing and they don't get enough hype. Pardon me, are you Aaron Burr, sir? Yeah, that was me. I so had to do a look inspired by Aaron Burr. We're supposed to make a TikTok and I decided to do a Hamilton TikTok. It was so good. I did the same silhouette that Aaron Burr has, but incorporated some gold stars to showcase Hamilton and the true star that Aaron Burr is. Okay, this one took a lot of research, but I decided to land on Vision. And with this, I decided to just make this more me. And this is actually one of my favorite looks from the whole thing, because I got so detailed with it. I even have the Mind Stone as the necklace. I have the jacket that incorporates just like his cape. It's one of my favorites. I love this one. I have no words. <laughs> Day five was Raya, and I gotta say, I really liked Raya. It's been getting mixed reviews, but I really liked Raya. Tell me what you guys think. Did you like Raya? Have you seen it yet? Anyway, so I decided to do the dragon Sisu, the last dragon, and I wish I had more like fur key elements in this because it would show more that I'm trying to, you know, recreate a dragon, but I just decided to do a basic color scheme and edged it up just a little bit, but not too bad. Not gonna lie, this is one of the hard parts of this challenge was this look here. I couldn't think of anything, so I decided to do Minnie Mouse, one of her old looks. And this is actually a dress that I'm wearing, the blue skirt. I morphed it into a dress, you'll see it later. But I decided to do her basic key elements and I think it turned out pretty well. Okay, so this one is so cute. When I thought of cottagecore, I immediately thought of Tangled, which made me think of Pascal, and I had the perfect dress for it. So we did some florals, we had the uh, bandana. It's just, it's so cute and ethereal, and this reminded me of Pascal the most. If I had a darker green, this would have nailed it perfectly, but overall, I loved how this turned out. Again, so cute. <laughs> Mary Blair was a Disney animator back in the day who inspired Small World, Peter Pan, and Alice in Wonderland. So I decided to do Wendy from Alice in Wonderland in honor of her artwork. And this was the skirt that I was talking about in the Minnie Mouse outfit. It's actually a dress. This is the dress. So with this, I made this into a dress like Wendy wears. And I also have this Peter Pan purse that is very similar to Mary's work. So I incorporated that into the look. I also have some key elements like some gold stars. I pulled my hair back a little bit. I really like how this turned out surprisingly. Mm -hmm. 
not gonna lie, I kind of went off on this one. So for this, I did the same color scheme that Anger has, but added a clueless twist. We have the high waisted skirt paired with some knee high socks and the heels to go with that. And with the red heels, I have a red blazer to tie the look all together. Overall, I love this look so much. I'd wear this every day if I could. Man, I nailed it. And this one we tried. We tried so hard, man. So this day was Nintendo, and the first thing I immediately thought of was I have to do Tom Nook from Animal Crossing. And we attempted, and I think it's fine. So I did the same color scheme that he has. I added some gold into it because he's a greedy little thing. And I did my hair kind of like some space buns because, you know, he's a bear. I, we tried. We tried with this. I have some textures that kind of reminded me of fur added to the look. This day was recreating a look that you've done before, and I decided to do Sleeping Beauty. It was an ode to one of my first videos I've ever done where I dress like Disney princesses, and I think this look needed a revamp, so I decided to revamp it for this day. With Aurora, I added a little bit more of cottagecore elements than I did last time with the long skirt, the button-up underneath, and overall, I really love this look. It's adorable, it's precious. If you know me, you know that Animal Kingdom is my favorite park in all of Disney World, so of course I had to do Animal Kingdom as a look. Add some animal print elements to this, and this kind of reminds me of like an Indiana Jones look, not gonna lie, with the big oversized army green jacket, green pants, and then some brown details of the boots, the belt, the earrings, overall vibe. I love this one. Surprisingly, this top is actually a scarf, so you can do anything if you set your mind to it. Growing up, I watched a lot more Nickelodeon, so when it said cartoon nostalgia, it took me a little bit, and I actually decided to do Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. He's my favorite character from the show, so of course, had to do a look by him. I've done an outfit similar to like this before, but I changed the coat to a little bit more of a true green to his hair. The Supreme himself, Bill Cipher. You already know that I wanted to dress like that Dorito chip looking ass, and I nailed it. The silhouette literally looks like his. It's very triangle-like. I also added some more witchy elements with the floppy hat and the knee-high socks. Overall, I nailed this. So I just did a video of all my cartoon crushes, so this encouraged more of me to dive into the archives and Lee Shang was the next look that I did. I've already done a look inspired by Lee Shang in my Disney Princess outfits video that you should definitely check out, but I did shirtless Shang instead because we have the nude top and then the army green pants and I have some black elements to kind of edge it up a little bit. I really like how this turned out and Lee, you have my heart. I waited for this day the whole month and when it was here, I about screamed. I have this dress that looks identical to Disgust Dress and it's from Oak City Vintage here in Oklahoma and I am obsessed with it. So it's perfect for this look. And it was inspired by um, St. Patrick's Day because you know it's not that easy being green. Okay, bitch. Um, but I really like this. It has a nice 60s vibe to it and the dress really makes it. Try! Of course I had to do Troy from High School Musical. It's the 2000s, man. That's when I started watching Disney Channel. Okay, so with this, we have a sporty kind of vibe going. Very simple, basic, some high-waisted sweats. The top that talks about raising boys and girls the same way, because if you've seen the show, you already know. They incorporate that and some chunky white sneakers. Simple, got the hoops. We're getting our head in the game. Okay, I don't think I know what grunge is, so I just came up with this outfit. This day was actually kind of hard because I, yeah, I don't think I know what grunge is, so I just kind of dressed like myself. I did a rendition of an old goofy look that I've done before. Did this really cute army green bag to incorporate the green and some of the colors in his look, but I think it did well. This is grunge goofy, right? Right. Okay, this one wasn't as creative, but I decided to do Queen Eleanor from Brave. We were supposed to dress to the nines, and this is how I dressed to the nines, was just putting on a nice dress. I, it worked, it's well. It has the gold and the army green into it, has a royalty aspect. Very Queen Eleanor, I don't know. We tried. Now creativity was here for this one. I did Roz for Monsters, Inc. 
and I got to keep my glasses, I have a great beanie on, the sweats, the chunky shoes, and Mike all together all in one. It's so comfy and cozy, I'm gonna wear this a lot. I literally talk about in every Disney Bound video how to Disney Bound, and I use Ariel as an example. Thank you, Haley, for inspiring me to do this look from Disney's Little Mermaid that did appear on Broadway. I have the red hat to go with her hair, a purple sweater, and this green dress that I decided to put the cardigan over. It added kind of like a picnic bitch vibe, which I'm kind of here for, and I have some tan shoes to incorporate her feet. So, you know, human Ariel and mermaid Ariel. Overall, really love the look. Another shout out to my sister for helping me out with this look. She recommended me to do Evil Emperor Zerg and that is exactly what I did. And this outfit went off. I have to say, I love this one a lot. I love the leather jacket that goes with his cape. The belt is very similar to his. It's very much like I'm gonna take over the world kind of vibe, but in the most casual way possible. Overall, very shocked that I created this. Now y'all know I was most excited about this day and I did Marnie Piper from Halloween Town. I've done this look before on my Instagram but I decided to showcase it on my channel here. I don't have the same dress that Marnie has so I have a top very similar but with this I did some flare pants, my signature purple corduroy flare pants, you already know, with the black boots, a black hat, and I added some kind of gothic earrings to the look. Overall, this was one of my favorites and I can see myself wearing this all the time. This was one of the days I hated the most because I don't own pink, I don't dress like a Barbie doll, I'm more of a gothic witch gal, so this is a complete 180 from what I usually dress like. And I just decided to dress like the Barbie logo. I don't have any reference pictures other than the freaking logo. And back to my comfort zone, we have Nick Fury. I've always wanted to do a look inspired by Nick Fury and this was the golden opportunity to do so. It's a very black on black on black base, but I added some chains, the leather jacket. If I had the eye patch, it'd be killer. Of course, I had to do a look inspired by the legendary Doc Hudson from the first Cars film. With this, I wanted it to be a little bit more casual and low key. I have a denim on denim base with a striped shirt, have some silver jewelry to complement the silver in his design, and added some white chunky sneakers. This one was hard too because I don't have many friends in the Disney bounding community. So I grabbed my dog instead. Thank you, Teddy, for helping me out with this look. So we did Mickey and Pluto. I have a Pluto collar for him, but he didn't want to wear it. So let's just pretend he has a Pluto collar on. I did the same color scheme as Mickey Mouse, but I added this fanny pack that has Mickey Mouse on it. Made it a little bit more of a prep school vibe. Now, thanks again to Haley for giving me these ears to wear for this look. I did not own any pair of ears, but Haley does, so shout out to her for helping me out with this. We're doing a Christmas Disney inspired outfit. I have this gingerbread mini that I paired with the ears because they literally go hand in hand. I have some ornament earrings to add to the Christmas vibe and just added some same colors from the ears. Again, shocked of how this turned out. And the last and final look is Tangled, and I decided to do Maximus the horse from Tangled. I've done pretty much er every character, so Maximus was the last one I wanted to do off my bucket list, and man, I killed it. I did like a player disc jockey kind of vibe with the cropped shirt and the oversized high-waisted pants, the black boots. I literally fell in love with this. I just wish I would have added some more brown into this, but overall, I vibe. You're gonna dress like a Disney character like me? Like how I do every day of my life? Maybe? Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I deeply appreciate every single one of you guys who clicks on my video. I'm starting to understand more of what I wanna do with my YouTube channel, but I would love the assistance from you guys. So if you have anything that you want to see me try to recreate or shows or movies or anything, let me know. I really love recreating looks and also like thrifting. I'm starting to, again, understand what I wanna do more with my channel and 
I'm at the beginning of my YouTube journey. Um, anything you guys want, want me to do, please let me know down below or on the side or wherever you're watching this. Just comment, let me know, reach out to me, follow me on Instagram, let me know, follow me on TikTok. Like, please, I would love to get some more ideas from you guys. I really, again, appreciate every single one of you guys. Also, if you want to see me do more of like recreations of certain looks and things, I pretty much do it every day. So follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I do make some cute little videos and looks and stuff inspired by cartoon characters and everyday people and things like that. So thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, drink some water, eat some food and do you darling. Bye guys. The Instagram page that I was inspired by was the Disney Bound.